hey guys uh welcome back to the another video uh today what we are going to do is we are going to discuss about the agent installation on the client so uh what we're gonna do is in today's video we are going to install the agent on the one of the windows server okay and we are going to use the interactive method for the installation so guys when you do the installation on any of the client there are the two ways available one is called interactive installation and the another one is called push installation so what is a push installation so push installation is like when you log into the com serve and from the com serve itself you can push the packages to the clients you are not required to log in on those particular clients okay but in the interactive installation as a name suggest interactive installation sometimes we call it as a manual installation as well but yes the correct word that we have to use is the interactive installation so in the interactive installation what we do is we log into the client okay and once we log into the client we download or copy the packages on that particular client you can download the packages directly from the two portals one is called cloud.comwall.com and the another one is the ma.comball.com from any of these two portals you can download the packages on the client and once you download the packages on the client you can run the setups that set up directly and answer the questions that will be asked okay so today we are going to focus on the interactive installation so in the lab scenario we have a com serve and then we have a client so what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to install the agent on this particular client and uh, in order to perform the installation on this particular client because when you do the agent installation after that the client will be interacting with the com server for the registration and all so we require a port number 8400 and 8401 to be opened bidirectionally between the client and the com server to complete the installation uh, but if there is any other port that you are aware of is being opened then that also will work now what we are going to do is we are going to install the agent on this client using the interactive installation so what i'm going to do is i'm directly going to uh first of all let me log into the com serve so in the com serve if i go to the client computers you will be able to see there is only one client that i have right now okay now if i go to the client on the client what I uh, uh, I will be doing is this is a client server that I have guys so on this client server I am going to install the agent I have already downloaded the packages so once you download the package you will see a setup file in there so we will right click on that setup file and say run as an admin and once you click on run as an admin a installation wizard will be coming up we'll just wait for that particular installation wizard to come up okay uh, it can take time to uh, um, you know to show that particular visit depending upon the configuration that you have on your client so you can see that installation wizard has come up on the client so it will ask you for the language in which you do uh, want to perform the installation these are the languages which are available in which you can select to install the agent once you select the uh, language you click on next uh, click on I agree for the license agreement and click on next now once you click on next it is going to ask whether you want to create a custom package or you want to install the packages locally right now on this client so if you want to perform the agent installation on the server locally right now so you will say install packages on this computer so we are doing an interactive installation we are installing packages on this client itself so I will select the option of install packages on this computer and say next now once you click on next it is going to ask you which particular package or, or convolved version that you want to install okay so you must have downloaded the package of some specific service pack but in that service pack also there is a, 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 a hotfix that keep on uh, getting released so you can select the hotfix number from this particular list that you want to have on your client you can select any hotfix number from there let's say i want to install the hotfix number 18 always remember that guys the version of convol package that you have on the com serve should be the highest one 
the agent that you are installing on the client should be on the same version that you have on, uh, on the comserve or it should be less than the comserve for example if i go on the comserve on comserve the package that i have is uh is 11.28.19 okay so it's a hotfix number 19 in there so i have to select 19 or lower than 19 so i can select 19 itself the hotfix number 19 in there and say next now once you click on next what you are going to do is you are going to select the options from the list depending upon the situation so guys if you are doing a client agent installation to keep the thing simple i am going to select the option of advanced selection and say next now once you click on advanced selection there will be a window coming up where it is going to ask you select windows packages so guys over here from the list you need to select what combo package you want to install on that particular client there are the categories like server microsoft windows virtualization database in those respective categories you have the commvault agents available so i want to install the basic package client packages right now so i want to make this so like i want to install the file system agent so i will select file system and file system core packages on this client and say next now once you click on next it is going to ask the location of Comvol packages where it should be installed on the server. You can select any location, any dedicated drive that you have taken for the package installation. Otherwise, you can keep it default. If you want to change, you can click on this browse sign and you will be able to change it to any of the path that you want. Okay, I will keep it as a default as if now and say next. Now, once you click on next, just bypass these options. So it will show you the installation summary in there. What package packages you have selected and click on next now once you click on next uh, if you have already downloaded the packages it will download uh, like it will not download the packages like you can see in my case it is trying to download because i have not downloaded the package i just cop uh, copy the installer so if you have already downloaded so this step will be skipped it will be directly going to the installation file system it will be a little quicker so we'll just wait for this particular phase to get complete to complete this download file system and perform the uh, installation of the file system agent then we will see the further options okay so guys the installation of that download and installation phase has been completed now it is looking for some information in there now guys it is asking you the client name and the host name of the server on which you are installing the agent okay now guys client name is the display name okay or you can say it's a alias by which the server will be visible to you in the console in the client name you can put anything in there there is no restriction on that you can put your own name or any fancy name that you want to put it up on the server but in the host name you have to put the client actual host name like fqdn or the ip of that particular server okay because host name is a component that will be used for the communication to this particular client your comms or media agent will use the host name of the server for the communication so if you have a dns in place you're gonna play, uh, you, you're gonna put the fqdn of that server or you can even put the ip of this particular client on which you are doing the installation so in my case i will select the ip of this particular client and say next now once you click on next guys once the agent installation is been completed right once the agent installation get complete what will happen this client will be getting registered in in your com server okay so for that during the installation it is going to ask you the com server name to which this particular client is going to register itself so i will uh, you have to either put the fqdn of that particular server okay uh, like uh, fqdn of your com server or you have to put 10 dot uh, like uh, uh, the ip of your com server okay so you can put the ip of your com server and say next now once you click on next it is going to connect to the com server okay and once it connect it is going to ask you for the authentication okay now guys you have to put such a username in there okay which has the permission 
okay which has the permission inside your commvault console to perform the agent installation so i have entered the credential which has the permission to install the agent on the client so you have to enter the credential and say next now once you click on next this agent installation wizard will go to the com so validate those credentials and once it validate the credential it is going to recover some information from there like it is going to extract some information from there and from that information like you can see waiting on the registration status from the com so it is registering the agent installation on this particular client to the com so okay so we'll just wait for this uh, registration process to get complete on the client and once the registration get complete then we'll move forward we'll see what all steps it will ask but yes we are just waiting right now uh, for this agent to complete the registration with the comsop now once the registration get complete you can see the installation is being completed on that on this particular server now on this client you can just click on finish now once you click on finish what we're going to do is we'll log in to the comsop okay in this client uh, we'll go to the console console in the client computers you can go to the view and say refresh and see if you are able to see that particular client one coming up over there if it's coming up you will be like it means the registration was successful installation has been successful now one thing you can see that client one is a name that i have given uh as a client name while performing the agent installation and the host name i have given the ip and that you can see the client is visible to you under the client computers with the client name okay and you can at the same time you can see the host name uh, that you have given to this particular client okay so this is how you can perform the interactive installation on the clients thank you so much